we will explore software, system, and application. Software. Computer software is a collection of data or instructions that tell the computer how to work. It has to be loaded into RAM or random access memory and once loaded, executed by the CPU or central processing unit. Different types of software include system software and application software. System software is computer software designed to operate and control the computer hardware and to provide a platform for running application software. System software can be separated into two different categories, operating systems and utility software. The operating system allows the parts of a computer to work together by performing tasks like transferring data between memory and disks or rendering output onto a display device. It also provides a platform to run high-level system software and application software. A kernel is the core part of the operating system that defines an API for application programs including some system software and an interface to device drivers. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is a way for two pieces of software to communicate with each other to access data. In this diagram, the API is helping the application communicate with the kernel. Device drivers are groups of files that enable a computer's operating system to communicate with hardware devices. A printer driver enables a printer and a computer to communicate to print a document. Also part of the operating system, the Graphical User Interface, or GUI, allows users to interact with a computer. Since the 1980s, GUI has been perhaps the most common user interface technology. The command line interface, or entering code to communicate with a computer, is still used by some people. GUI, not GUI. Graphical user interface just means that the user can interact with a computer in a visual manner instead of typing lines of code. GUI uses visual elements, like icons, to help the user navigate and accomplish tasks. Thanks to your computer's graphical user interface, you can drag a file to the trash can or click on an icon to open an application without entering lines of code. Utility software is another category of system software. Utilities help analyze, configure, optimize, and maintain the computer. Virus protection software is an example of a system software utility. Got it! Utility software supports the computer's infrastructure. Some other examples of utility software include a file compressor, a PDF viewer, a disk repair program, a file backup program. While system software interacts with the computer's hardware, users interact with application software. Application software can be uninstalled without affecting the functioning of other software. Apps help users create, search, play, track, listen, etc. Makes sense! Application software performs tasks that benefit the user and can be used to do stuff like write letters, track expenses, play games, listen to music, search the internet, edit videos, design posters, or even learn a new skill, like a language translator. Parlez-vous français? Let's recap software. System software operates and controls the computer's hardware. System software includes an operating system, or OS, and utility software. The kernel is the core of the OS. System software interacts with the computer's hardware, while application software helps a user perform tasks. System software doesn't need application software to run, but application software cannot operate without system software.